Hey guys, welcome back to Beer's Gone Bad. Where the beer flows like wine. Cost me a fucking good one tonight. I can feel it. God. I can feel it. I'm excited. We've got Ballast Point Sculpin. Staying true with the San Diego beers. Um, if you've ever had any of the Ballast Point beers, you know they're amazing. And I'm assuming that the Sculpin's going to be no different. I've heard multiple, multiple people say that Sculpin is a, in their top tiers of favorite IPAs. I do believe I've had the Sculpin IPA and I was pleased. I just read that it's been a while. this beer won gold at the 2010 World Beer Cup for uh, Indian Pale Ale section. What? Dallas Point, wow. this is to you. That's, yes. Good work. <sighs> Pop it. Alrighty. Again, using our bottle opener from... TailgateIdeas.com. Dave, thank you. Boom. Alright. Try to shotgun it through the glass. <laughs> Grab that cap though. What was on the top of that? Oh, that's anger? their logo. That's their cool little... Yeah, that's that little nautical deal. What is that called? Is that an Spanish. Oculus? Or what with a... It's for using when you're sailing to find it's, the Yeah, horizon. it's a nautical instrument. Yeah. I don't think Oculus is right. Any of our Navy friends? The gauntlet has been thrown. Who knows? Or, or just nautical enthusiasts. Where are we at here? 7% actually. This beer put me back about around 450, just like a normal 22 kind of wood. That's just kind of what 22s in the craft barrel world seem to see, be like, between that 5 and $6 range. I'm okay with that. I mean, if you want to save, then, you know, go go do the malt liquor thing. Which, we do have a malt liquor review coming up pretty soon, so we'll, we'll show you how to drink on a budget, but it's worth spending the money on a good beer. Say the same. No. What, what, color, what color are you going to put this at? Um, that's like a 3.5 or a 4. Yet yeah, very hoppy IPA. Brimming with bright apricot, peach, mango, and lemon flavors, which are mango. imparted by the skillful use of a variety of hops. All right. I'm gonna try not to do this one. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so highly drinkable beer. They're telling us. I don't know if you guys have ever seen a Sculpin. We have them here in San Diego. Um, our friend Matt, who actually works with us, has stepped on one. Not a friendly thing to be part of. However, I do believe it's a good, uh, it's a rockfish, and I believe that they make very good fish tacos. I just read that too. It says the meat's super really, uh, super good. Yeah. Super really good, man. Super, super good. Actually, when, um, when Mikey lost his job, Cheers. because we went fishing on base, we caught a ton of those. We caught like 13. Oh. Mm. That's good. I'm going to just preface this in saying that we just got back from the gym. I haven't drinking anything, any water at all, anything. Yeah. And that just quenched my thirst right there. Yeah, this is great. They this should serve fantastic. this on the side of football games. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like in the cooler? Could you imagine just coming Gatorade? and watching a Charger game and having the guys run off and drink a Sculpin IPA on the side just to get geared up to go back in? The Raiders would love it. The Raiders would love that. You got malt liquor in that? I like that. That's got a really nice flavor to it. It is very hoppy like an IPA. I can kind of taste hops now. Um, it's my true taste. You know, I don't know if they just, the fact that we read that it has apricot in there makes me think of that, but I can taste apricot. It's well balanced though. I mean, you can, you can at least I th think that I can taste a little bit of that yeast too, the maltiness. Pine trees? No, those are hops. Pine trees <laughs> are hops. <laughs> Malty is yeasty. Oh, uh, so good. It's a good time. Good times, good times. Good times. No, this is really good. This is a really, really good IPA. This might be one of my favorite IPAs, if not my favorite IPA that we've reviewed so far. I'm going to go, it's right up there in my top. It, this was... It's Sculpin. I have a, you know, way to go, San Diego. Good job, Bell's I'm, I'm going to go ahead and give it a nine, dude. It's 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 doing the job for me. I and by the way, when too. we say the gym, um, I just dance on the treadmill for like an hour, and then I'm not really sure what Pat's doing. I'm just in my zone. Sometimes I bring my Heelys and I just hold on, and I put it on eight. <laughs> and then I let go, and then I run really fast, and then I get back on my Heelys. You can put this at a nine, huh? Yeah, dude, I really like it. I think I'm gonna ride there with you. I'm about, I'm gonna put it about eight point five because nine, nine and ten are holding really hard, like high in my head. Eight and a half, strong though. Yeah, but out of ten. <clears throat> Respectfully, I mean. I get that. I get the 9s and the 10s have to be reserved for those amazing beers, but think about what we're drinking. It's a 7%, you said? 7% IPA. It's completely drinkable, obviously. I mean, we're at the bottom of the glasses. 
I kind of wish I had it's, another one to be honest with you. Yeah, it's hoppy, it's good, it's, it's really good cold. I don't know how you guys like to drink your beer, if it's cold, if it's warm, room temperature. I like a cold beer. I am a California American. On that note, this was American, supposed to be served at 44 to 48 degrees Fahrenheit, I read. What did we hit? We're right around there. I let it sit um, for a second before we ended it, so well, there you we're go. right there. This beer is meant to be drink, drank cold. Yeah. And it works. I'm with you, man. That was a great beer. Oh, kind of wish I had another one, to be honest with you. I do, 100%. I wish I had a little six pack of them. Or a big six pack of them. They're big beers. Sculpin. Good fish tacos. So, overall, clarity, it gets a three. It's not very dark, it's not very thick. Drinkability, this thing gets up there. We're at like eight and a half, nine right here. Like, solid eight and a half, nine. You know what? Ballast Point, put it in a can, and we'll see where it does for uh, shotgun ability. But do I could shot then the hell out of I think thing. that I think it would do all right. I think it'd be in the middle of five, but what is it? Is that your alarm clock? I don't know. My neighbor's gone crazy right now. I don't think that's your neighbor, dude. I think that's like straight hair. <sighs> The beer's gone bad, guys. Thanks for checking in. Like always, we're always here for you if you ever need any questions or comments. If you think you can shotgun a beer better than us, by all means, film yourself and send it to us. I'll post it. Yeah. I'm not afraid. Scott hits five seconds both times with uh, the Hana Wheat from Maui, and he did it in five seconds with... What was the other one we did? Was that Bud? No, no, no. It was Tailgate. Tailgate, you're right. Tailgate, uh, Blacktop Blonde. Challenge us. Send in your video. If you beat us, I will send you a 22. I'm going to go and say that. You beat Scott, challenge him to a beer. We'll have a beer off together. You beat Scott, and we'll send you a free beer. Pick your beer. We'll do it. Done. 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 Challenge accepted. Guys, thanks for checking in. Again, this beer has gone bad. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter. MySpace? No. <laughs> yeah, and MySpace and Friendster. <laughs> Where the beer flows like wine, guys. Thanks for checking in. You can finish it. Fun.